You've got a job opening in your organization. Should you appoint someone to the job or should you post it to see if anyone else is interested? I'm Greg Schenkel, President of Unique Training and Development and Frontline Leadership Systems, and I want to encourage you in this week's Leader Feeder to always post job openings. If you've ever decided simply to appoint someone to a position without posting it first, you'll end up getting a backlash of negativity for not posting it for others to consider. It's tempting to skip the job posting and simply look internally for a candidate or select the person who you think is best for the job without posting it. This usually happens when you're desperately in need of filling the position or seem to have very few internal options. This is a mistake for a number of reasons. Employees will perceive it as being unfair and perceptions of fairness are important and even if the process ends up going the way that you thought it would and the internal candidate becomes your final choice, posting the job at least carries or creates the impression that you've looked at different options. You might overlook a better option. For instance, you might discover that after posting the position, someone who you didn't think would be a good fit actually turns out to be your ideal candidate. Or you might discover who is interested in advancement in your organization and even if you don't select them this time, you might find that they're interested in a future promotion or job change someday. Which begs the question, should you give feedback after conducting the internal interviews? Many organizations don't do this crucial step. They make a decision, tell the others they weren't picked and think that's enough. Instead, you should make it a point to give feedback to the people who you didn't select. Let them know how they should improve in order to be considered in the future. Many employees have false self-perceptions of their readiness or suitability. Being honest with them about how to get ready for future promotion is not only the right thing to do, it can also help you cultivate future leaders. Once you've learned how to select the, from the talent that you have available in your organization, you might decide that you also want to work on some of your other leadership skills. Remember that we do on-site training for frontline supervisors and managers, or we have public workshops that you could send one or two people to, or you might be able to just want to tap into our resources that we offer on our website. You can visit us online at uniquedevelopment.com or you can connect with us on social media, on Twitter, LinkedIn, or Facebook by searching for Frontline Leader.